You're watching The Isaiah Factor, Uncensored. And welcome back to the second half hour of The Factor, Uncensored. Now, after loads of backlash, Facebook has put Instagram for Kids on hold. The app was going to be aimed at kids aged 10 to 12, but blowback came from parents and lawmakers over safety concerns. We got our panel together to talk about whether this was a good decision. And our guests are here on The Factor Uncensored tonight to talk about Instagram, putting a hold on their kids' Instagram site. Um, obviously, there were, were some reports last week indicating that young girls considered suicide after facing pressure on Instagram. Ashley, let's begin with you. Did Instagram do the right thing? Well, you know, I think what they're trying to do now is kind of collect the data, go back and assess whether the findings that the Washington Post published are in fact true. But I think they did the right thing in terms of looking at the numbers and pausing on this new platform they're going to roll out like this week that would be specifically intended toward children. So absolutely, I think they're doing their due diligence to look into the data before they move into developing new technology to reach kids a little more intentionally. And Mandy, parents should be really concerned just about their children getting on any form of social media, no matter what these companies and platforms do to try and protect the children, you're still going to run into problems. Absolutely. And parents are currently concerned about their children on various platforms when they're 13, 14, 15, 16. So opening that door um, at a younger age is extremely concerning, particularly when we think of young girls, the mental health, what we really need to be doing is focusing on um, their mental health, their social and emotional supports that are needed, physical activities, extracurriculars, and the data is out there um, quite often and clear that young children, their safety is questioned on platforms that they're extremely vulnerable, that there is definitely predatory grooming going on and something that we should be concerned about. And I'm, I'm glad that they're putting a pause on it. Rashonda, when we think about our kids being on social media, there's really not much a company can do to protect them with predators out there. But what can we do as parents to make sure our children of following the rules set in place or put in place by the platforms? Well, number one, we need to share the belief that, oh, my child wouldn't do that. Little Susie wouldn't be talking to strangers. So, I, you know, I'm, I, that just is so disheartening to me to see the number of parents that are saying those types of things. So it's up to the parents to monitor it. Um, and Facebook is saying that basically kids are online anyway. So they're just kind of expanding their platform for that. I get that. And I do agree that kids are online anyway. I think they need to develop something where whatever the kids are doing on their Instagram accounts, the parents have an account that they can see the exact same thing. I'm um, just like my child's credit card. I see every dime he spends. If some kind of way they could mirror that, then I'd be all for it. But it will have to have some type of parental control. And Ashley, what about what Rashonda says uh, when we talk about parents coming to the realization that their children aren't perfect and that they will break the rules and they will do things that would shock you? How important is it to realize that and also put those monitors in place to keep tabs on them? Well, I think a part of it is being transparent with their children in the same way that kids struggle with insecurity and addiction to the new technology we do as well. And so I think sitting down with your kid and kind of doing an audit and saying, who are your top five people you follow and why do you follow them? Well, here are my top five and here's why I follow them. Also sitting down together and going through your settings together and showing them, look, I'm going to turn off my likes and views because I don't want to be controlled and influenced by how many people like my content. Do you want to try that too? So I think it's kind of meeting them where they're at. Um, there are, you know, tools in place such as face uh, for iPhone. You can use that family sharing tool that allows you to really monitor how much your kids use the internet. And there's also a smartphone called Pinwheel that will allow you to really regulate how your kid used the internet, but that is an entirely different phone, but it still gives your kid the smartphone access without all the extra bells and whistles. So there are tools in place to monitor a little bit, but I think most importantly is meeting them where they're at because like Rashonda mentioned, they're going to be on regardless, but I think they do not understand the implications involved. Can you stop or protect your children, Mandy, out there? Obviously there are some platforms clearly they shouldn't be on, but they will find a way. 
That, that is the truth. And what has been said, communication is clear. And can you stop it? I don't think so. The children are smart. They can get around. It's either on your phone or another phone or another computer if they are really wanting to seek um, those platforms or that information, but conversations are extremely important. In particular, you know, the children really want privacy, and you can have private conversations with your friends, but not on social media, I believe, um, not on the internet, and so there needs to be that openness between parents and children to make sure that we can keep them as protected as possible. Rashonda, would you even allow them to close their bedroom door at home? <laughs> and, and not at all, unless I give them permission <laughs> or it's coming off the hinges. Hey, do like I do. Create a fake Instagram account and follow them on everything they do. <laughs> that could be smart. That could work. That could work. Ladies but I, I think you do have to monitor, uh, Isaiah. One of the things my daughter started just, she was just dressing and her tongue out on every picture. And because I'm active on social media, I saw that she was mimicking Megan the Stallion. Uh, all of her poses, everything was mimicking Ma Megan the Stallion. I was talking to a friend. She had no idea because she's not on social media. So she didn't know the types of things her daughter was following, the things she was getting out of it. So if you have young children, you're going to have to get on social media as well.